Professor, for giving you the opportunity to speak. The National Institute of Petroleum and Energy Bill 2017 aims to set up an institution, Indian Institute of Petroleum and Energy at Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. And it also declares the institute as an institution of national importance. I appreciate the aim of the bill as it provides high quality education and research focusing on the theme of petroleum hydrocarbons and energy. The government is going to pump in rupees 655.46 crore. It is stated that the budgetary support for capital expenditure is expected to be paid out till 2022 to 2023. Would the Honorable Minister state what is the plan of action in place as of now, particularly when our aim is very challenging and amount to be spent is so high? Said so the said institute is expected to be a domain specific energy institute that will serve as the fountainhead of a nurturing world class technical human resources capable of serving as the leaders and innovators in the field of petroleum technology and energy. What speed work has been put in place as of now or proposed to be put up for taking the issue further? So the state institute is aimed at extending high quality education and conduct advanced research in all aspects relating to the conventional hydrocarbons. I appreciate the exalted aim. Will the Honorable, Honorable Minister state as to how he intends to go about and what initiatives have already been put in place to achieve this aim of quality education and conducting advanced research in petroleum and design? About the consultation, constitution of the Board of Governors, which is responsible for the general superintendent's direction and control of the affairs of the institute and having a general council of the institute inter alia, would review from time to time the board policies and programs of the institute and suggest measures for the improvement, development, and expansion of the institute. I would like to know from the Honorable Minister what measures were put in place to make the functioning of the issue transparent and accountable. Will the issue have autonomy to steer clear of the impending issue that you'd face while in navigating towards an issue of excellence and national importance and setting a benchmark for other institutions in other fields like agriculture and science at all? Coming back to the aims of the bill, what do you stand on this theme? How much prepared are we? What are our challenges in the field of petroleum and energy? Have we analyzed them? Where are we placed vis-a-vis other countries in terms of technology and state-of-art innovations in the field of petroleum and energy? There is a need to have a look, relook and a fresh look at the whole gamut of issues and concerns involving providing education and research when our institutions find hardly a place of excellence in 100 out of 200 best institutions of the world. There is an urgent need to bring in foreign faculty who are experts and who know what is happening and what new developments and innovations are taking place in the realm of petroleum energy sector. I hope the Honorable Minister would do to endorse this view that there is a lot of room for improvement and we would strive towards making the National Institute of Petroleum and Energy a center for excellence in the real sense of the term and not make it as an achievement of the government of the day that it has gifted an issue to a state and forget patronizing and monitoring it. Okay. Sir, I am representing West Bengal. Would the Honorable Minister consider setting up an institution of national importance to cater to the emerging and challenging needs in the domain of petroleum and energy in West Bengal. Lastly, I would request the Honorable Minister the decision made by the Ministry uh, to stop uh, the A subsidy for LRG, to withdraw the decision. Thank you, sir, very much. Sir,